folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard. Happy Halloween. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, those little bastards are getting annoying at your door, so we'll try and go ahead and lighten the mood. Uh, some of you may realize that this was supposed to be a campaign night, but one of the cast members, Dewey, Doc Amell, uh, had a small issue and couldn't make it tonight. So rather than really fuck these guys over uh we're just gonna do a one shot instead uh so you know at least you get to see a little bit of D, &D maybe get a few laughs get a few chuckles we kill carol you know making it all fun day uh follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our stuff and support us like this cool murder hobo ink shirt uh the link is down there if you want to shoot the shit with us about D, &D on our discord channel the link is down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us for the talk shows on Tuesday or a one shot M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Next week's schedule is in shambles. Uh, so don't count on anything happening except for Tuesday. Uh, thanks, Pirate Dog Dice, for the die I was going to use to kill the fucking campaigners tonight. Old Red. Uh, and, of course, oddfishgames.com, oddfishgames.com. If your game stinks, get a little adventure sense in it and make it smell better. Also, uh, how to RPG with your cat next Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, totally free. All you got to do is sign up. Uh, we tweeted that information out earlier. As I stated before, this is going to be a one shot. Uh, before we get into the pertinent details, let's introduce you to the cast. Uh, cast mate number one, Chris, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, my name is Chris. I'm playing Randall Dundragon, a human sorcerer. Um, I stream on Twitch, I mini paint, and I also have an Etsy shop to sell uh, miniatures. And the address? Oh, yes. You can find me uh, CG mini painting on Twitch and CG minis on Etsy. There you go, folks. If you want some minis painted uh, or you want to learn how to do it, watch them. Uh, next up is Ernest. Ernest, same question, different answers. Uh, yeah, I'm playing uh, Russell, the uh, stout halfling fighter, and um, my stepbrother Randall here is way taller than me. I do kind of have a short person complex, but I put up with Randall at least because he's family. Well said. Uh, the movie Twins, folks. Uh, last but certainly not least is Carol. Carol, your turn. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and happy Halloween. Of course, that won't be relevant after this night, but hey. What uh, a but, but, <laughs> uh, I am, well, heck, I'm going to change the order of this. I am a longtime gamer, uh, occasional GM, and I am also a commission mini painter. I think it's great we get two commission mini painters on here. Uh, I can be found at Twitter at uh, muses underscore uh, touch, because I'm muses touch Richard painting. And let's see, tonight I'm playing my goth gnome grave cleric, Luna Hades. Nicely done. Folks, we've decided to play third level PCs tonight uh, for the uh, Halloween adventure. Uh, it is going to be the Tower of Horrors, a.k.a. Arlo Tower. Uh, you three have just tried yes. to rob an old graveyard. Uh, unfortunately, it did not work out as planned. Uh, when you uncovered a strange amulet in one of the uh, coffins, it animated the dead around you, and you have been chased out of the graveyard by a horde of shambling zombies. Uh, I don't know why they're chasing you they're looking for brains but they are uh with them between you and the town that you were staying at uh you have to run the other way because there are about 30 of them unless you feel lucky punks <laughs> i did not think so as you run across the plains you quickly outdistance the shambling losers and find uh up in silhouetted against the full moon is an old crumbling tower. Uh, hopefully, you can secure yourselves there until morning, uh, and then you may escape the zombies. Or you can run into the woods where I'm sure there is nothing 
at all wrong. I will leave it in the capable hands of the PCs. Yeah, let's uh, go to the tower. Um, while we run inside, Randall, make sure you don't hit your head on that door frame. I don't think the door's that small. Uh, the door. Oh, is that a small joke? Fine, we can go there. <laughs> The, uh, the tower has its name over the main entrance, and it is Arlo Tower. The wooden doors that secure it are in pretty rough shape. The portcullis uh, was apparently pulled off its moorings uh, at least a decade ago, if not longer. It is rusted and bent. It will do you little good. Uh, hopefully, you can secure the doors, which do swing inward. Uh, as you reach the steps, what would you like to do? Um, is there anything to barricade the doors with? Uh, you'll have to go inside because there's nothing. Well, get, go ahead and give me an investigation check as you quickly scan around. Oh, uh, let's Rick see. Carl and Michonne are somewhere else and you're on your own. Investigation. Or roll. <laughs> Four. Yeah, you don't find shit outside. Cool. Cool. I guess I'll go inside and hope there's nothing bad in there. I'm sure there is nothing bad in there. Randall and Luna, what would you like to do? Well, I guess I'll just follow him. Randall? Fine. <laughs> I guess we're going in. <laughs> I mean, if you want to stay outside with a 30 undead, feel free. I don't, I don't grab care. Grab that plot, like, grab that plot, like you know that's right it's a railroad time uh this tower is crumbling it's very old it's got vines and moss on it it's about 30 feet tall and as let's see uh as you guys run in number five luna give me a dex check as a stone falls from the ramparts above apparently it's gonna be my night that's the second time you've rolled me on your rolls Oh, by the, got, way, how, the last one you got magic potion. Yeah, how much how much does that do by the way? Because it's there is no extra healing in the uh, equipment guide. Two D eight plus four. Or I know how Frank does half. this shit. That's right. I, I, I the books are not law; they are guidelines. I'm gonna fall on my butt because I rolled a crappy, uh, a crappy ass uh, dex. What was it? Dex check. Yep. A uh, check. Oh uh, yeah, I rolled a four. I don't have desert, and I rolled a three on the die. Fuck you, die. <coughs> I have hit points to Brickface Luna. <laughs> are are we is, inside yet? Uh, you two are. <laughs> okay. Randall skips over <laughs> Luna's injured body. Got <laughs> that potion already. Are you? No, I don't. <laughs> as head wound luna staggers into the main entry hall you guys notice several tipped over pedestals some are cracked some are broken uh and one singular stone bust resides on one at the far end of the hall there are no torches lit this is a dark structure all right uh randall why don't you light this place up not the building, the room. Uh, and I'm going to try and drag one of these uh, stone pedestals over the barricade. Uh, the zombies are a good 100 yards away, but they're headed right for you. All right. I'll barricade them fast. Randall, how are you going to illuminate this structure? <laughs> Carol, stop bleeding all over my tower. <laughs> <laughs> If he does not have light, I have light. I can cast light. Of course, I could say, screw you all. I have dark. I got like firebolt and stuff, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just like yeah. roast the place. Randall, I'll, I'll, I'll let Luna do it. Why I don't didn't you cast anything. firebolt at the zombies? You do not have a light spell? No. All right, so I put a light on my staff because not all of us can see in the dark. Like That's me. true. Fortunately, your illumination has disturbed a colony of bats. Everybody roll initiative as we start it with a Scooby-Doo episode. I'm not afraid of bats. Let's see. Well, that's a three, so you guys are in good shape. I rolled uh, a 10. I rolled a nine. 
17. Uh, <coughs> Russell, as you try and drag one of these stone pedestals over, <laughs> bats appear, uh, pissed off that Luna has illuminated everything. Uh, there's at least one, maybe two swarms, possibly even three. They're all over the place. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to finish barricading this door. I think the zombies are more of a problem than bats. Uh, bats are only problems for tall people. Thank you, Shaun of the Dead, for helping me with my voice skills tonight. Uh, okay, you're dragging. Give me a strength check, please. All right. Uh, that is a nat 20. Plus nice. one. <laughs> You have scratched my floor already. Next up is the 10. Uh, Randall, bats are flying all over the place. Um, I'm going to use my quarterstaff to swing at them. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> uh, it's a 14. 14 does hit. All right. You tear a swath into the swarm of bats. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's go with damage there. Uh, so we're we're a whole a whole two damage. <laughs> not, not, a, not a big swath, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Luna, you're up. Were they even bothering us? Like, I mean, were they biting or anything like that, or just flying around? Oh, they're gonna bite now that Randall's pissed them off. God damn it! All right, so I guess. I guess uh, if they they suddenly seem like they're mad, I'm going to cast, uh, I guess I'll cast Sacred Flame at them. Make a dexterity uh, save. Ah, uh, that's a nine and plus two, 11, I'm guessing. Yeah, that. they do not make the dexterity save. So I get to roll damage. Uh, that would be, let's see, D8. Wow, okay, I rolled back, so that's eight points of damage. Very nice. It's <laughs> their turn. Odd, even, or you know what? Uh, Russell's still in there. Whoa, blah, 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 blah. That is a three. Russell, uh, despite your Herculean efforts, they are going to attempt to attack. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, ten? Nope. Uh, swing and a miss, uh, Randall Dundragon, uh, you being the tallest, uh, you have the best visual on them. What would you like to do? On the bats? Yep. Russell has dragged the pedestal over to the door. Uh, he's going to need a second pedestal to secure both doors, though. Um, are Russell and Luna behind me, bats in front of me? You and Luna are in the corridor. Russell is up against the doors. Russell, you can either use one of the standing columns to try and secure both doors or one and one to give maximum strength against the zombies. Maximum strength. So one of the doors is now secured. So Randall, you and Luna are swinging for the fences. Uh, Russell, I'm going to assume, will be running past you trying to get a second one. Yep. Okay, let me see something. Because I could cast Burning Hands. It's a 15 sure. foot, 15 foot cone from me. There's so, here, probably question. nothing wrong there. Is there a wood floor or something above us in this well, tower here yes okay Just okay so no checking. see i read a little further <laughs> let's not let's not light potential flammable objects <laughs> i.e wood in a 15 foot cone <laughs> not a good idea i wasn't sure if that one would do it uh oh, it'd do it it'd do it quite well no no i know that but then i burn everything that's what i meant um the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof. <laughs> the roof is on uh, fire. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go with uh, my uh, crossbow. I'll fire at one of them. Hey, Randall, uh, did you did you see in chat that you suggested burning down the tower? Yes. Um, <laughs> that'll be a nineteen to hit. Oh yeah. 
You peg and one of the leaders. Ten, ten damage. Ooh, nicely done. <laughs> uh, next up is... Oh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, Russell, you were first. Uh, I assume you were grabbing another pedestal, so go ahead and give me another strength check. All right. Please. This one was a 10. That's still good enough. It's going to take you to the end of the round to drag it over there, but it does stay intact. Uh, rounding out our PC group, Luna. Uh, the swarm is thin and out. What do you want to do? I'll do that again, because that worked pretty well. So got to make a dexterity save at 13 or better. Uh, that is only an 8 plus. Uh, that's not enough. That's a four. That's four points of damage. Uh, the crowd is really thinned out. The few remaining bats uh, fly into a stair, or I'm sorry, into another room. Sorry about that. At the far end of the hall. Uh, Russell, you have successfully secured both doors, although the timbers are quite rotted on these front doors. You can hope and pray that the uh, shrambling horde is restricted from gaining entry. Now that you guys can look around, uh, this main entry hall is about 30 feet long, and there's a doorway dead center of the area. There are broken shards uh, that you can conclude were other ceramic or uh, marble busts of previous tower uh, owners. As I said before, there is one column with a bust still on it. Ooh, I want to do the D&D uh, &D taboo thing and inspect that one bust and hope it's not magical and will curse us or cause problems. You mean like a flame skull at third level? Sure. I'm sure. Uh, It'll go over my head. Randall, stand behind me. <laughs> and hold my mighty shield of target. Uh, Luna and Randall, what do you want to do? Uh, let me. Wait, I wonder what, ahead. what happens with him. Fair. With him bringing around the stat that that bust. Otherwise, is there anything else to investigate? Really, that's door at the end of the hall. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Okay. Yeah. What do you got, Randall? I will use Mage Hand to open the door at the end of the hall. I hate that fucking spell. Uh, okay. Uh, it creaks open and is reluctant, but your mage hand does open it, uh, showing a darkened room beyond Luna's light will. Go ahead and illuminate it. Russell, give me a d20, please. Yeah. Uh, any modifiers? Nope. Eight. Uh, Russell inspects the small platform. Uh, unfortunately, he's a little bit too rough with it, and the stone falls to the ground and shatters. He, Deadpool, screams. It was already broken when it hit the ground. Uh, but there is a silver whistle. Oh. It was in a small little secreted carve-out underneath that head. I pick up the whistle, sure. and I blow it. It appears to be broken. It's missing the little ball. Oh. Randall, come here. I need a little ball. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Outside, a howl can be heard that pierces the gaps in the stone tower. Oh, it's oh. a flipping dog whistle. <laughs> oh, werewolves, bats. That's right. Zombies. <laughs> this isn't Halloween. It's Halloween, baby. He's saw, he's gonna summon a bunch of uh, uh, uh they'll yeah werewolves bats. They'll take they'll take care of the uh the zombies right or the undead. The sure, all, all the wolves the wolf pack will take care of the zombies now. Wait, wait, it's not that the whistle doesn't work; it's just too high for you to hear. Yeah, this is this is why <laughs> why isn't it working? <laughs> yeah. Nobody is affected adversely. Uh, you notice that your two comrades have opened a door into another area. This is a hallway. It runs left, right, and there is a door just across the hallway as well. Um, when we were outside of the tower, what, what was the general shape of the building? Was it square, rectangular, circle? It is a circular, circular tower. tower. 
Um, did we spot any side doors or windows that we need to be worried about zombies coming in? You were in too much of a rush, but noting that this was most likely a fortification, uh, the only back door would be secreted from any general viewpoints to allow the lord or lady to escape, and it would most likely be in the basement. Got it. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. So, Randall and Luna, as the door opens and you peer inside, it is a straight hallway that uh, dissects the tower in half. There is a door directly in front of you. Uh, there is a door down the left and a door down the right. Uh, you can see a long carpet spreads the entire length of the hallway and old moldy portraits hang on the wall. So you have door number one, door number two, or door number Let's three. Let's split up, guys. No. I think splitting up no, is a great idea. No, we're not splitting up. We'll be done it just happens to be the right number of doors for us. This is I perfect time. I think I'm going to Or, fall. or... <clears throat> We use Mage Hand and open each door individually. Oh my god! Just because Frank loves it so much. I love Mage Hand. Uh, used between you and David, Andrew, Jesus. That's a brilliant idea. Do that. What door do we open first? I'm going through the door right across the hall. Okay. That's I stand good. back and watch. <laughs> Mage Hands for pussies. So he's, you... step in the carpet. he's gonna step in the carpet and he's gonna find out that carpet is uh what the heck is that carpet this the one that basically smothers you a rug of smothering, rug of smothering? yeah yeah rug of smothering uh, that never happened <laughs> russell you uh step on the carpet and it does not move at all because rugs of smothering are stupid uh oh, sure. do you try and open in or try and open out doesn't matter i'm trying to open it away from me I'll say odd opens in. Uh, it does not move, so it opens towards you. I try harder. Fair enough. Uh, it still does not have any effect. It, it's not old and rotted. Shifted on that. It, it's the dead center of the tower. It's probably an important door. <clears throat> Can I just walk up then and uh, grab the door and pull it open? Uh, D20, Russell, D20. 12. Uh, you do so, but Russell manages to move before you hit him in the face with the doorknob. Uh, beyond this room is a... I need another die. Kitchen! There are skeletal remains hanging from the rafters. There are Copper pots, not Chester, but copper pots. Uh, there is a hearth uh, along the left wall. You know what? It's along the back wall. Fuck it. Uh, and this place appears to be general culinary preparation area. Is there a pantry door? Oh, there. where the mimics are? No. Yes. Or not the mimics, the, the, the slime. The pantry door is the mimic. Is it? Got it. No, it's Hey, is, there a, is there a gelatinous cube behind the pantry door? Yeah, that's what uh, happened last time. <laughs> there, there is, there is not. You open up the pantry door. Uh, it smells rotted. Uh, mice scurry about, uh, but they do not wish to engage you. Yes? They're kind of cute. That's yeah, all they're, they're, they're gorgeous, whatever. Uh, there is a trap door uh, in this pantry, and several buckets are next to it. Oh, I open the trap door. Uh, it smells damp and humid down there. Hey, Randall, I, I need you to. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, sorry, Luna, can you help light up uh, the space down there? Stick your staff down. Okay. True. I'll go. I'll walk up and I will I'll stick my staff down there and see what we do. A cold breeze emanates up from the ground. The humidity and moisture content is higher. Uh, you look around. Doesn't appear to be anything unusual down there. Is it just a little cubby where they used to store stuff, or is it does it extend on past your vision? It extends past your vision. You can see about 30% of the area. 
the rest of it goes in behind the door. <laughs> How is it like stone steps down in there or is it, is it stone steps? Okay, cool. Yeah, I was I was picturing like a wooden ladder that was rotted out. And I'm like, nope. yeah, I don't want to get trapped in the cellar. Nope, um, you're golden. Cool. Yeah, I'll go down these stone steps and see what happens. Dex check. Yeah, Dex. I'm um, a half lane. 14. Uh, you gingerly skip down there. Uh, you start to lose the usefulness of Luna's illumination, but you notice a ring of stones uh, over by uh, the far, not corner because it's a round tower, but along the far section, probably about where you came in at. It is reminiscent of an old well. Oh, um, I want to look down the well. Luna, can you come over here with the light? I will have to make a dex check. I'm sorry to get down that stairs, right? Yep. I'll step out of the way for Luna play. to be able to make it to the well. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> I know what my dex checks are not really very good. Oh, actually, that's, well, that's a 13, so that's not terrible. Luna not skips down there, and Randall finds himself completely in the dark in the hallway, unless he wants to follow <laughs> as well. Come in. Yeah, yeah I'll, human. I'll follow. Uh, Randall, while you're trying to make your determination, you hear a low moan not coming from the zombies. Death. What? Death. I just continue on. Only Randall hears this? Yep. Give me your dex check. Oh, it must be up. It's upstairs. Well, <laughs> luckily we're in a defensible <laughs> Randall takes the expedient way down. Luckily, I had stepped Takes out of the way. Two, two hit points of damage as he skitters down the stone floor. You guys are in a probably 25 foot round tower basin. The tower upstairs, probably about 30 feet in diameter, maybe larger. I don't know. I, I had to, folks, I had to make this up like 15 minutes before we started. So, you know. I mean, not really fleshed out completely. So you guys are down in the cistern room uh, and everything appears to be fine. Uh, Russell is looking down into the well. Luna, you're walking over to give him illumination. Yes. Very good. As you walk, everybody give me perception checks. Perception. Um, all right. Excellent. 14. Good. Uh, let's see, what's my first ever? Oh, that's a 24. Okay. And what was yours, uh, Russell? 18. I'm proficient, <laughs> nice. but I also have a negative two wisdom. So it worked out. <laughs> proficient? I have a... Plus, I have, I have a <clears throat> it, my, my apologies. One more time on <clears throat> what your rolls were. 14. Yep. 24. Yep. 18. Okay, uh, as Luna begins to move over, uh, she and Russell, also Randall, notice there is a golden chalice free-floating in the middle of the room in between Luna and Russell and Randall. Luna and Russell, with the aid of the illumination, Notice a little bit of a shine around this. I not notice that the cube is gelatinous. Everybody rolled. A oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. This is a gelatinous cube again. Yep. Oh, in yeah. the pantry. <laughs> First nat 20 of the night, boys and girls. And this is initiative? Isn't yep. it? To put gelatinous Wow, a four. <laughs> This is the basement, not really the pantry. You guys went into the basement. Close through enough, the pantry. The pantry. Uh, you had to go through the pantry to get to it. That would be a 17 initiative. And Russell. Seven. seven. Uh, I am going to go odd, Luna, Russell, even, Randall. <laughs> Five odd, odd, Russell, even, Luna. Good news, Luna. <laughs> Every roll is going to be for me tonight. That's the, not going to roll. The pseudopod flings out and tries to hit you in the face. There you go again. I do not think it's going to get you with a 12. No. Uh, the pseudopod swings and misses. We will start it off with Luna with a 17. 
Oh, wow. Um, I think I will sacred, make, yeah, may have it make a dexterity save. I'll do sacred flame. Uh, 14 plus... Ah, that makes it. 13 is the DC. Uh, 14 minus... Oh, my... Oh, I thought you said plus. Okay. Uh, nope. I, I thought it was plus. It is a minus four for dexterity. So then that will that will go. <clears throat> so I need to roll. Let's see, where is it? There's a D8. These things have a lot of hit points. <laughs> yeah, they, they have a nat 20 on con, but a three on dex and a one on intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was good. Uh so that would be um five points of damage. <laughs> Very nice. Uh we'll go with the seven next. That is yeah. Russell. Russell! Cool. I'll, I'll, I'll try and stab it with my sword, I guess. I, cool. I don't know what else I'll do. And that is a modified 20 to hit. Jump into the well. Oh, uh, yeah. By the way, the AC of the gelatinous cube is a six. Oh, yeah. cool. Well, that was... That coming out for this what fight. Are my modifiers? Cool. I rolled an eight on my 1d8, so I did 12 damage. Nicely done. Randall Dundragon. Uh, you aren't exactly positive what's going on, but Luna and Russell seem to be trying to attack you, but their attacks <laughs> are falling short. Give me another perception check, please. Oh, uh, you mean to tell me the fire didn't like illuminate it for him so he could understand? 16. It did, because now he sees the outline of the gelatinous cube. <laughs> that is between you and them. You may attempt to run up the stairs and evade in the dark or <laughs> put your fight on. Your choice. <coughs> uh, firebolt this guy well thing. And I rolled a 12 to hit. You're going to say three. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's some damage. You know, if you collapse the ceiling on this thing, you probably kill it immediately. It's a uh, big old six fire damage. Hey, better than nothing. Uh, round two. Uh, odd again, even. Looks like uh, I love Russell and Luna. This time I love Russell. The pseudopod comes out and attempts to boink you in the face. Uh, Jesus Christ. Six plus four is ten. My attack oh. rolls blow. Good, uh, because this thing does crazy amounts of acid damage. Yes, it does. Uh, Luna, you're up. Um, well, because I hit <laughs> I'm going to use my channel divinity um, to curse him with Path to the Grave, which means... The next time, okay, so the next time either me or an ally hits the cursed creature with an attack, the creature's vulnerability to all of the attacks, damage, and then it ends. So, um, I may, may be my action, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use, I know I probably have bonus spells, but I think, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I have pretty much my bonus spells a healing one. So I think I'm going to just do that. And whoever hits it next will um, get double, basically double the damage. Russell! Cool. I'm going to swing at it. And I hit it with a modified 24. Damage this time is only a rolled nine. So double that, 18. Yeah. <laughs> You're carving it up pretty nicely. Uh, Randall Dundragon. Oh, let's go with the same thing again. Firebolt. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. And 8 fire damage. Uh, 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 49. Top of the game. Does not like Randall this time. <laughs> Share the love. Are you shitting me? That's an eight plus four is twelve. That was swing and a miss. Wait, wait. Was this the guy that was supposed to kill the campaigners? Like, no, that's this. Oh, one. that's why. I got you. <laughs> not, not the root beer. I'm using the root beer and the green and white for you oh, guys. Okay. No, I were using this. 
That's a nine. That's an 18. Uh, okay. Uh, back to Luna. Uh, Round three. Okay, now I'm going to pull the dead, so make a wisdom saving throw of 13. Same thing. Same number. 14 on the die. Wisdom minus two is 12. All right. Because it is taken damage, I believe it's a d12, right? I sure. believe it's a d12. Let me... Hmm. Kyle's not here, and I don't know the rules. I got it, so. I got it, I got it. So the target must cheat a wisdom save throw or take 1d8 in the card game. Target is missing any of its hit points, so it instead takes 1d12. And it's going to take 11. Uh, down to 60. Uh, Russell! Russell, yeah, you're up. I was muted. Sorry. Um, that is a modified 21 to hit. I'm rolling way better than this cube. And then rolled an eight on damage again. So eight plus four. 12 more damage. Uh, Randall, I hesitate to say with a good shot, you might be able to uh, kill this thing. Oh, you jinxed him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I'm rolling like shit. <laughs> oh, Firebolt again. That is a 17 to hit. He's going to do it. And Luna's Luna the only one injured, and she six. hit it because she got hit with a stone. Six fire damage. Uh, you do not kill it. Oh. Uh, giving me one more shot. <laughs> Switch into the murder hobo dice. Five, Russell and Luna. Six, Luna. Why I should be sucked in with this character too. Five plus four is nine. <laughs> you need another uh, eight eight uh, points. We'll be switching to the oranges now. Uh, go ahead, Luna. You can kill this thing. Uh, go ahead and uh, make another wisdom save. That Switch works. into the orange. <laughs> uh, Eighteen minus two is sixteen. That'll make it, damn it. You better kill me because I got another orange left. Russell, you're up. Russell! All right. A swing and a modified 21 to hit again. Yep. And this time only 11 damage. Uh, that is enough. The goop scatters across the floor, touching each one of your boots. A slight sizzle and the smell of scorched footwear uh, emanates. Everybody roll a d12 to see who can jump at that chalice first. That's a only roll a what, sorry? D12. Oh, d12. Four. Four. I forgot to pull out the d12s. Seven. Where's a d12? That is a 20. I, because you forgot some of his dice. This is, this is horrible. He's channeling Kyle. You want me to roll for you? No, I don't trust your rolls right now. Yeah, it's probably a good thing. All right. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Yeah. Uh, you snatched the uh, chalice. Nice. Um, any, any magical feelings from the chalice? Oh, yes. It screams out, I'm a magical chalice. I'll make you 20th level if you drink from it. Okay, I drink uh, from it. Not, not it, has, the acid goo. it has three opals and a spot where a fourth opal would have been around the ring or where you would hold the chalice. It is a, uh, I think I said golden chalice. Yeah. Probably worth some buckaroos. <laughs> nice. I'll keep it. I'll keep an eye out for this opal so I can drink from this magic chalice. So I'll make me a 20 level. 20 level. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that works. Uh, do you want to go back to the well? Uh, we didn't get to explore the well, did we? No. Nope. Um, all right. Yeah, I guess we're ready to explore the well with Luna's staff. Uh, Randall, are you going to peer down there with him? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys all lean over the ring. Luna moves her staff over the ring. Uh, you can hear the sound of water dribbling, and then you see some movement down below. It appears to be a female with long, black, wet hair, and she begins to climb up the well. <laughs> Got it. I, I, um, I, I fake shove Randall. I'm like, oh, watch it. You know, just a... Uh, just, uh, 
to give him a little scare. Your girlfriend's here. <laughs> Wait, is this really happening? Oh, yes. It's the ring. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, um, maybe we I'm not playing play? around right now. <laughs> what did we just do? Um, hey, Randall, th- throw that cone of fire down there quick. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's go burning it's hands burning a cone of flame down this well <laughs> so that's going to be a dex check I, I back my head up when I make that suggestion I'm not sticking my head over this cannon I, I, I'm using an orange 16 on the die roll uh, let's see what it says if there's any damage on it man. all of the moss mold and mildew gets Scorched off the old cobblestones. Oh, hold on! Are you still uh, leaning on the ring stones? <laughs> it's still going to cause damage. Yeah, half half damage. <laughs> no, uh, I- so you th- half of thirteen, so six. Okay. Uh, Fire oh, damage. It's something. What were What were you doing? Uh, as, soon, as soon as he, you know. You know, since it's been, I get off the stones because I know that is that's good. They're going to get hot, so. And yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> flame shoots down. Uh, <coughs> Rand, do you want to continue to peer down there to see if you got her or not? I backpedaled away from the edge of the well, so somebody else well, can. I mean, I'm not looking because I thought there was going to be some backdraft from that fire. <laughs> <Draft>. <laughs> Uh, Randall, do you want to look in the well and see if you got her? Or just get the hell out? I say we leave. Yeah, there's a trap door up there. <laughs> I think that's a good way to block her in. Uh, who's running to the stairs first? Well, yeah, he can. Oh. Give me your oh, next yeah. check. 18. Uh, who's second? I guess I am because I already started heading that way. Give me your dex check. Uh, I did not make it, whatever it is, because that's only a four again. Fucking roll for shit on dex check. Uh, Randall, roll dex check at disadvantage. Ah! X a disadvantage check. Um, Oops, sorry, did I roll that? No. <laughs> uh, so that's 14... And a nine. Uh, the nine will allow you to leap over Luna and start heading up the stairs. Luna, as you look up, you see Randall Dundragon's nethers because he's a Scottish mage and isn't wearing any undies. As you look back to the well, <clears throat> you see a smoking arm coming up out of the well, and the girl rises up and she has no eyebrows anymore. and a portion of her long, wet hair is smoldering. Make another dex check to get the frick out of here. Oh, God. And All dex- of us? No. no you, you and oh, okay. Russell are up top. Of course, Randall I, can't see shit. I've got this much modifier to my deck, so it's not great. It does... Oh, fuck. I can't roll for shit. That's only a six. <laughs> as, as you sit on your ass, you see the woman... Yeah! No, I'm <laughs> no, I'm freaking. No, I'm freaking out. I'm totally freaking out because that thing is scary. So it's like it's it's hindering my ability to climb those stairs because it's just so she's... with with your back against it. Ah, the woman comes up and <laughs> disappears. <laughs> uh, Randall Russell, you hear the screams. Uh, she's probably dead. Just go ahead and shut the trap door, light a torch. That's the plan. (laughs) (laughs) Find something heavy to put on that trap door. (laughs) Because see, Carol's got the long black hair, so she's going to become the ring lady. (laughs) Actually, I think Luna has short black hair, but that's what we said. It was singed off. She's got a gray streak in it now there, Cruella. Probably does. I mean, that that was scary. I will go. Hey guys, it's a ghost. That's not going to stop it. Aren't you a cleric? Do something. Seriously, hold the dead or something. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt me, right? 
No. Didn't hurt me, so I don't really feel like I need to. Wait, was it just a deterrent? Is there something good down there? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't look down the well. I'm still sitting at the edge of the stairs. Although you probably hear me because you closed the door. So no, I haven't. I haven't closed it yet. But it was a good idea. Okay, fine. Uh, she kind of disappeared when she got to me. Russell, you have dark vision, right? No, halflings don't have dark vision. Oh, okay. So you guys are completely in the dark up top. Uh, I mean, the door's still open, so we get a little beam, but that's about it. <laughs> Russell and Randall, you hear something in this painting. Oh, sure. um, it's um, another we hear something in the painting? Pantry. In the pantry. Yeah. Oh, that's I... definitely a mimic. Step between Randall and the opening of the trap door. <laughs> I am I'm, I am bravely cowering behind the sorcerer. <laughs> Luna, what are you doing? Uh, Set the trap door up. I'm Luna, curious. hurry up. I need. Ghost. I guess I, need I will go. I guess I will go up. I am curious about the ghost because she didn't hurt me. Maybe that you know of. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I mean, I didn't take any damage, so I mean, I would Maybe make I it possessed it. you, and I did the roll. Uh, <laughs> that'd be kind of cool, actually. Um, Killer. <laughs> all right, ha have fun with that. Um, I, I will, I will climb the stairs. I don't feel any. I don't feel any different, right? Uh, you feel cold, scared, and you might have wet yourself. D twelve against me. Oh no! I'm. I should just refuse to roll this. That is cocked. Jeez. Nine. You do not pee yourself. Ah, and I do make the dex check. Yay! It was a twenty. She and climbs up, and as she lifts her staff to illuminate the room, <laughs> you see a three-eyed raven cocking its head, looking at you guys. Oh, that's cool. You're very cool looking. You notice it has straps attached to its leg. I, I throw a dagger at it. Does it have a, does it have a note? Uh, I don't know. He's throwing a dagger at it. A 18 to hit. Uh, the dagger passes right through as the raven goes into a cloud of mist. Okay, this is creepy. I, um, Luna, can you go retrieve my dagger? <laughs> no. It's You're out still... of her reach. <laughs> oh, are you still down in the pit, Luna? No, no, I'm not. She's a halfling, too. <laughs> you threw it up <laughs> at the crow. Hey, Randall, we need your tall people skills for once. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, you can, yeah, I'm not getting it. Randall, uh, you see uh, Russell's dagger how, embedded in the how top. About of the use, how about you? Okay, use I'll use Mage Hand to grab it. Yes. <laughs> Fucking show off. Uh, all three of you are now in the pantry. The trap door is open. The door into the kitchen is also open. What would you like to do? Um, I want to prevent <coughs> people from attacking behind us, so I'm going to close the pantry door that, now that everyone's out of there. Are you not the pantry door, the uh, trap door. There you go. Okay, yeah. trap door is closed. I get the feeling, though, that doors are not going to keep these things, you know, in a room. If they can go perception through. check. Perception? Yep. All of us? Yep. 16. 13. 18. All three of you here scratching? From which direction behind us? Uh, over in the kitchen somewhere. Oh. Um... Hey, Luna, you have the light. Go check that out. <laughs> uh, I will go. Uh, no, you're coming with me, and I'll like actually take you by the hand and go, come on. Okay. Yeah. I hold up my shield. to see the wizard. <laughs> you go over to the area where there are several pots and pans and several chairs stacked up. Uh, this seems to be the area where the scratching uh, was coming from. Uh, it's a site of a lot of debris. Uh, a lot of uh, mundane equipment. What would you like to do? Um, can we make a perception check in the area? And see, is there anything there? A lot of dust, some uh, cobwebs, minor cobwebs, small ones. 
Uh, other than that, doesn't look like anybody's touched this stuff in a while. And again, you hear the scratching. That's what I'm trying to find. Oh, I want to go up. No, actually, I really don't want to go up, but I'll, I'll go up and to where the direction of that sound is and see if I see what's making it. You lean down using your staff as light. Yeah. And as you move about, you see an eyeball directly in front of you. <laughs> there's an eye, there's an eye, there's an eye. Smash it. I don't know. What is it? It's in the sink? It's down below the debris. This is like, so like it's the water in the sink and this is like the um, trash compact. Where, where'd you guys get a sink? I didn't say sink at all. <laughs> kitchen, kitchen. Uh, no. yeah, th this is just a pile of uh, mundane equipment, chairs, oh. some stuff like that. And when you went down to investigate it, you observed an eyeball looking at you. What kind of eyeball? Does it is it like you know monster eyeball or human eyeball or? Uh, give me a nature check. Because mm, that's a good one for me. Oh uh, well, that is a six. Wait, uh, that is. I think. Well, that was a sixteen. I think it was either sixteen uh, or nine. Yeah, it was probably small humanoid. I back away. The scratching continues. But it's coming from that pile. Yep. This is a, yeah, I just saw an eyeball and it looks like a small human. It looks like one of us. I don't like this. There's uh, other parts of this uh, tower we need to explore. All right, we can go. Okay, lead the way, Light. I mean, Luna. The yeah, scratching like intensifies. Oh, I'm in the middle. Randall's behind me. <laughs> that is the marching order. <laughs> I am not a fighter. <laughs> Wait, I am a fighter. <laughs> Randall, you've been silent. Do you want to investigate this serious threat or just say, fuck it, let's investigate the rest of the tower? <coughs> No, Wait, I'm uh, I'm walking away and uh, pushing my way past uh, <laughs> Shoving to try and get through the door. <laughs> and you get stuck. And the scratching intensifies behind you. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, just for SMGs, I want to do uh, Eyes of the Grave on that, uh, on that spot. That Did doesn't I'm... sound creepy. Is it Eyes so of you're the going to stop turn around while these two are climbing up your ass to get out and you're going to cast a spell it's That's not cool. a, it's not a spell it's just it's an action <coughs> on the location of any undead within 60 feet that isn't behind total cover so i don't think that's total cover nope that's not total cover. Effect from divination magic to the end of my next turn uh i got three so no undead there Okay, whatever that is, it's not a ghost. It's something else. I mean, so far, everything's been yeah. kind of phantasms. There have been illusions, it seems like. Yeah, the gelatinous cube certainly was an illusion. Well, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the well oh. girl and the three-eyed raven seemed... Uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe? I mean, this is... A, but this, do we have any history on this tower? No, none whatsoever. None of us can make a history. I can't I'm, make. A I'm history. just telling myself that it's all a dream. <laughs> Whether or not, was it a mage? You know, if a mage lived here. Or... Uh, so far, you cannot tell. You have not investigated enough. You've only investigated the kitchen and the main entry hall, which had a series of mostly broken busts in it. Okay. Oh, what was the bust that wasn't broken? It was a bald man. Oh. Okay. With a silver whistle that still doesn't work. <laughs> you, maybe you're calling oh. to us. <laughs> uh, do you move back out into the hallway? Yeah, well, I guess we'll go. Since nobody bothered to uh, shut the door the other way, 
The door is holding, but through some gaps, you can see grayish, greenish fingers trying to get through with the ah, ah. But so far, the zombies do not appear to be breaking through. Wait, there's a door to the entry hall? Yes. Oh, yeah, I'll just close that one as well. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, you did say it was kind of creaky. Because they mage handed it open uh okay so now you are in the hallway left or right you are on that rug that eats people yeah the the rug of smothering yeah right the, the no i'm right i didn't think it really was but it was just funny to think that i have seen it you have seen that before <laughs> so as you go out to your left would be the initial right to your right would be the initial left so which way do you want to go I do not have a preference. There is a moaning similar to what Randall Dundragon heard earlier. From which direction? Kind of everywhere. Like above us? (laughs) Everywhere? You really can't get a bead on it because it'll it'll moan over here and then it moans over here. It just kind of travels around. I think Uh, these are uh, illusion... Or illusions. I think they're illusions. I think they're deterrents. Uh, which way? <laughs> left or right? You have yet to find stairs going up. Uh, left is what my dice told me. Left would be originally right. Uh, you go into... Uh, <laughs> I really did that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, as you... Go to the left, the original right. Uh, several portraits hang on the wall. Everybody give me a perception check. Oh, nice. Maybe these uh, tell me something. I rolled a four. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Eh. Randall. Uh, what What roll, sir? Uh, Maybe you can see something up there. Perception. perception. Uh, 17. Ah. Uh... You turn back around to look at the magic user kind of dude in the portrait, and the eyes, instead of looking this way, are looking this way. Firebolt at the painting. Whoa. Whoa. (laughs) Whoa. It's an 18 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. Everyone's a critic. Everyone. uh... And it's uh, three fire damage. Oh, the painting burns immediately. <laughs> uh, Russell and Luna have no idea what the hell you're doing. What was that for? Did you you don't like the art? It's alive. It looked at me. What? <sighs> really? Yes. There's another portrait on the right just before you get to that door. All right, I look at it. Is it looking back? I do this. Or is it just a portrait? I want to see if the eyes follow. Everybody perception check. Oh, God. Six this time. Um, (laughs) They they hung these portraits a little too high. I get a 10. One better. Randall? Oh, I didn't hear the rule, sorry. Perception again for the other painting. (laughs) Uh, That'll be a 21. Uh, you you stop because Luna has got her staff raised high and she's doing this. Gives up, continues forward. Russell moves forward. You look. This is great. <laughs> this painting's eyes are moving too. Firebolt. The best part is he's the only one. That'll be a 20 to hit. No, yep. modified 20. Uh, and uh, 10 fire damage. Oh, yeah, it goes up. Just big old scorch mark there. Uh, Luna and Russell spin around. What the hell are you doing now? Same thing. Randall, at me. I always knew you didn't like my painting. <laughs> now I know it's not personal. You now come to the door uh, on the right. There is no door on the left here. Uh, there is a door on the right, however. I, I open it. <coughs> do you try and push it in or open it out i try and push it in it pushes in with a loud creak 
So when you entered the tower, this room that you were going into would be on the right. Everybody got it? Yep. Uh, yeah. You go in, uh, Luna holds her staff up, and there is a giant bear with its claws outstretched. Everybody roll initiative. 15. Oh, Eight. Sorry. Okay. We, will, we will start with Russell. Russell! What do you want to do? How, how far away is it from me? It's like right there. I slash at it. Cool. Hit. Cool, cool. Nat 20. Nicely done. You knock it backwards. Nice. With uh, eight damage. <laughs> You knock, it, down, it, you knock off one of its claws. Oh, does it rock back forward? Kind of on its back. Okay. Wait. It's a stuffed bear. I know. <laughs> I'm a little jumpy right now. This room appears to be a collection of taxidermied animals. The previous Lord must have hunted a lot, and some of his kills are in here. There is a skunk for some reason, uh, several pheasants, the aforementioned bear, and there are several uh, wolf's heads along one side. There's also human heads what? on the right side. They look like dwarves. What? In the center of the room are two plush chairs with a small table between them. There are two tomes sitting on top of them, uh, and there's a fireplace not up against the wall, but close enough with a stack that leads up and out somewhere. So this looks like a study of some kind. Wait, what was in the back of the room that led up? Stairs? No, chimney. Fireplace. Oh, chimney, chimney. Got it. Yep. Above it, there is a large minotaur head with a golden ring through its nose. But the weirdest thing in there are the three dwarf heads. On the oh, right. darn it, I thought there'd be seven. Nope, just three. I uh, I don't like the owner of this place. He obviously had a thing against short people. Are we dwarves? And there no hat. no no there no halfling heads up there, or gnome heads, or any there any of just dwarves. A booming voice says, "Row." Where from? But the three heads? Dwarf heads. Are the three heads moving? Yeah, not the eyes. No. All right, this room seems creepy. This um, is creepy. Going to be cautious as I head towards these books. Okay, you head towards the center of the room. Row. Row. Randall, Row. what are you doing? Row your boat. Gently down the stream. Um, the mariner dwarves. <laughs> They're semen dwarves. Can I do like an investigation? Look around, see if I. Sure. Do you want to go after the taxidermy things, the dwarf heads, the chimney, or the two chairs, totally not mimics, and the books where Russell's at? Now I'm worried about the chairs. Thank you. <laughs> Gonna look at the dwarf heads. Uh, as you do approach, now you see each mouth move, but there seems to be a gap between two and three. So they begin their chant of row, row, row your boat, but the cadence is off because they used to be a barbershop quartet. Oh my God. So, so it's a little bit off. Uh, it's peculiar. Kind of creepy, in? but they are in perfect pitch. I, I try and fill in the gap with my own row. Oh, very nice. Give me a d20 roll. Ooh, performance? Yep, I'll give you performance. Cool. Um, well, I get a negative two to performance, and I rolled a two. Wow. Uh, they so. were in perfect harmony. Uh, Russell's account of the well-known song really detracts from it. The three heads stop and do this. Uh, however, since you were investigating it, you notice that the fourth head is face down on the rug behind uh, a small stand. 
Uh, Randall, put the head back. I will put the head back. Using roll, Mage Hand. Roll, using Mage roll, Hand. Roll, roll, using. Roll. <laughs> uh, now they start to sing and give a jaunty tune, finishing off as they do. Uh, what do you call that? At the round. Yeah, when you when they they do their rounds, song ends. Now they start with a lurid sea chanty uh, that is extremely descriptive and way too much for this stream. Uh, however, they continue okay. to sing songs as long as you guys are in there. So back to Russell, two totally not mimic chairs, one totally not mimic coffee table, and two tomes. I'm going to reach very gently towards the top tome you know the book's a mimic you just know it is <laughs> no no i no i'm worried uh, about there there's a thick coating of dust on it do you want to blow it off to see what the title is <coughs> written in an algerian font because that's classy shit uh secrets of the universe it is a it is a Heavy tome bound with brass clips. Very nice. Secrets of the universe. Ah. All right. Randall, I think this is for you. And I toss it towards Randall. <laughs> and what's the second tome? Uh, it is also covered uh, in heavy dust. Uh, well, the first tome, FYI, was uh, 19 to hit Randall. I was tossing it to Randall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on. One, two, head, three, four, torso, five, six, the nards. Wow. The nards. <laughs> there you go, Randall. You like books and shit. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... Is it really six damage to Randall? No, oh, that's a six. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, it. for the nards. That's, that's what happened. That makes sense, considering your height, that's about where... Yeah, I that's about where I would have tossed Randall, it. you here. Hey, heads up. Funk. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's that's appropriate. That's that's accurate. That's you know what, right. Randall? Roll a d12 against me. Oh no. Oh yeah, baby. Mimic. Jump seven. <laughs> Ten. Uh, the book falls with its <laughs> cover on the on the thick rug, and a sphere of light opens up. There is a yellow ball. And then other balls form up and begin to rotate around the center yellow ball in strange elliptical patterns. I'm not smart enough to realize what that is. A voice who sounds like it should be in a wheelchair begins to discuss the secrets of the universe. What, like a robotic sounding voice? Yes. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> It is Stephen Hawking's voice describing the secrets of the universe. This is an audio book. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> the second tome, do you wish to blow it off? Yeah, better be better. Jumanji. Jumanji, what's that? I open it up. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative as a rhino pops out of the book. Oh, no. <laughs> oh fun. Yeah, that's a two. Four. 17. Let me burn the nat 20s on initiative. So that is a nat 20 for a 21. You're up first. The rhino looks pissed. Oh, legitimately a rhino. Got it. Legitimately a rhino. So it's corporeal? It certainly appears so. <laughs> um, <laughs> God. Um, Co compared to you two, this thing is a humongous creature. Randall, <laughs> compared to you, this is a small calf. <laughs> That was very good. I, um, I'm going to cast and uh, make a charisma save at 13 for Bane. Uh, 12, and I'm sure a rhino has a negative, so. So it has Bane on it, which is, you know, the minus d4 to its uh, attack rolls and saving throws. Got it. Uh, next up is the 17. <laughs> Russell! Yeah, I'm going to stab at it. And that is a 14 to hit. That hits. Ooh. And that is six damage. Very nice. Uh, Randall, I got a two, so you're up. 
I will fire my crossbow. Okay. 12. That hits. Six piercing. Uh, the tune has changed from the dwarves, and it sounds a lot like George of the Jungle for you old people that can still remember that cartoon. George, uh, George, George of the Jungle. The rhino <laughs> is going after five. Luna. <laughs> Prepare to be gored by the horn. It's going to hurt. Um, it's a four. Oh my four, gosh. Four? Four on the roll. Top of the order, Luna. <laughs> as it charges on through you what i said i step out of the way i just kind of step to the side sure. <laughs> that's fine uh it is headed towards the door next up is russell all righty i'm gonna swing at it wait is it still within okay cool it's an opportunity attack oh got it well then i hit with uh 24 okay and this time I do 10 damage. Nicely done. Uh, Randall, this thing's bailing on you. Do you want to attack it or no? Um, I will cast Firebolt. See, I'm worried if and we don't take it down, it's going to charge through that front door. And that's a 16 down. to hit. That that hits. The zombies. And six fire damage. Uh, it rounds the corner and goes down the hallway. You hear clump, clump, clump. And then no clump whatsoever. Wait, it just disappeared, or I don't know. You got to go into the hallway to find out. Are we going? I'll, yeah, I'll follow and see if it just disappeared. You look down. Uh, indentations in the rug indicate that the damn thing did run. But when it got to the T, zombies kitchen, it's gone. Oh, so we don't know if it disappeared or turned left or right. Correct. Well, it didn't crash through a door. Like the door that's holding back the zombies. We don't know that. It may have been too far away to hear. Well, were you following it and see, saw the, the hallway with the two doors? Um, I go. will slowly walk down the hall listening for zombie noises. Slowly he turns step by step. Uh, odd even. Go with him, by the way. Uh, Picking him, Randall, in the dark. Both doors, kitchen and to the front door, are intact. Okay, okay, okay. It Houses. continue the indentations in the carpet continues down to the other room where there's a door on the left. Oh, that we haven't explored. Correct. There are also two more portraits down this hall. Oh, um, I look to see if I can finally perceive this portrait. Uh, you are in the lead. Luna is silhouetting you. So you can stare at the first portrait. Randall, uh, your investigation of the four dwarves seems to be cut short as there's no light in here anymore. Uh, the light is slowly outside in the hallway. Uh, to perceive that portrait, I rolled a three. I got negative two, so... Nice job. Randall, give me a perception check. 13. You perceive that the taxidermied creatures that were on the left side of the room, their eyes are all starting to glow red in the darkness. And they seem to be intensifying with you in it. It's like they shoot freaking lasers. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh, do they have freaking laser beams attached to their head? I don't know. We'll see. I if will we cut through. I will leave. Off. I will leave the room. You leave the room. You step out into the hallway. You notice the big orb of light, uh, and you see Russell slightly ahead, doing his best Buckingham Palace guard, trying to get the poster to move. It does not move. I, I don't even see the poster. I'm having a rough time for some reason. Well, as Luna heads down the hallway, uh, the outline of the uh, poster slash picture will become evident as the uh, frame is a little cockeyed. Got it. <coughs> Sorry. 
also it is uh it looks like a portrait of little women huh. not not little women yeah. little women the literary classic i don't yeah. know that i'm a fighter it's four chicks on a couch yeah ah read it and when I say chicks, that's so that I can appear to be a misogynistic pig, even though I'm not. Or yeah. am I? Or am I? Yeah. Aldo. Uh, as you get up there, Luna, you also see the Little Women picture, and Randall is bringing up the rear. None of the eyes are following me at all. No What's eyes. Your perception check. All right. Uh, let me make one. It is. Oh, well, if I wouldn't know it because that's a 24 again. No, the eyes are not following you. However, the lips begin to move. Oh, look at her hair. Boy, she must eat a lot. She must have an eating disorder. She's very fat. Oh, who did her hair? Typical mean girl comments from high school. Uh, give me a save versus wisdom or take psychic damage from this vicious mockery. <laughs> I, I want to cast Sacred Flame and burn it, by the way. Make your save first. I am. Uh, which kind of save? Wisdom? Wisdom. Save, right? Yep. Oh, that's a 16. You are unaffected by these plastic women. All right. Well, have it make a save. of uh, Make it. It doesn't have a dex. And it rolled a two. <laughs> I burn it. I cast Sacred Flame at it. Uh, Randall, uh, now you, Luna's setting shit on fire. That's what you get, you bitches. Did, uh, wait, uh, did the we eyes need moving? to make a wisdom save? Or? Oh, no, no, it they, was aimed at her. Got no, it. They were totally mean. They were like calling me fat and saying my hair is terrible. Uh, I'm, glad it, I'm glad I'm, it was pointed at I'm you. I'm starting to think that he, there's there's somebody here playing tricks on us. Maybe there is like a powerful sorcerer, or or maybe we shouldn't. Something. <laughs> maybe we thing. should just leave here with the thirty undead outside. We'll light the place on fire. They like light. They go towards the light. Remember? Outside, a crack of thunder is heard, <laughs> and from the <coughs> ceiling, you can hear. The pitter patter of rain. Okay, well, I guess we're staying in. Let's check this last uh, last uh, floor. Uh, you can hear the moaning uh, through the door. Uh, it does not appear as though it's getting any closer. So apparently, the pillars are holding the front doors uh, secure. Uh, as you head down the hallway some more, because you still haven't found stairs going up, uh, you notice another painting coming up on your left. Okay. I try and perceive this painting now. Okay. It is a fighter dressed in finery holding a rapier with a hat with a giant ostrich feather on it. Nice. I finally was role? able to see it. 16. Well, it's a dandy. Hello, little boy. Why don't you shine my boots? <laughs> Give me a wisdom save at his vicious mockery. Oh, what a dick. I rolled a one again. Oh, very good. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm a halfling. That's right, you get to re-roll. I'm lucky. That's right. I rolled a three. Six hit <laughs> points of damage as your psyche is hurt. You cannot believe that this individual whom you do not know would be so cruel to you. Boo. A tear begins to fall from your eye. Are you going to do anything? I'm not a, I'm not a dandy. So are you going to do anything to that painting? I mean, I guess I'll slash at it after I'm done crying. I can burn it for you. So can he. Please do. <laughs> Handle, do you want to do it? You have to have a woman do your Firebolt. job, Dandy. <laughs> uh, I hit the painting with a 21. Yeah, I'll let him do it. That's fine. And uh, that'll be 10 fire damage. Fortunately, your big stepbrother has uh, handled your problem again there, Dandy, and you do not have to make a second roll. Uh, <laughs> ahead of you, the door on the left appears to have been fractured open. Uh, fractured open, like through by a rhinoceros? Probably. Cool. 
I peek around the corner. Uh, it's a little dark in there. You're going to have to have Luna's sticker staff over your head. I back up. Luna, check out that room. <laughs> <laughs> This feels like more and more like the campaign every day. Uh, so I, 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 yeah, I'll step up and I'll poke my head in. What do you see, Luda? He's hiding behind the paper. So what do I see? Wait, what do I see? You see a long table. Uh, yeah. There is an ostrich, a rhino with a monocle, two beavers, and a tiger. With your back to you, oh my. it's a man in a large hat. So this is a painting? Nope. They're having a tea party of some sorts. Oh, crap. Wait, are they really, are they moving? The man turns around as the rhino points towards the door where you're at. The man has bushy eyebrows that seem to undulate a lot. That's pure white. And he goes, oh, hello. Why don't you join us? Fucking mad hatter. Who? <sighs> Who do I have the pleasure of addressing? I am Pennysworth, the gentle giant of this place. Do I, do I hear this? Oh, yeah. All right, he said gentle. I'm game to go check this out. Also, and... you lean around the corner and you indeed see the site with the two beavers, the ostrich, the tiger, and the rhino wearing a monocle and the large man, or the man with a hat on. Is it that rhino, by the way, or is it a different rhino? It, is, it does certainly appear to be that rhino. You aren't sure where he got the monocle, though. Oh uh, on the table is a veritable buffet of food. It's gorgeous. You have grapes, breadfruit, corn, what appears to be squab for everybody, and large bottles of wine. As you Ooh. enter to the left, there is a stairwell going up. So bad. Uh, yeah, I'll enter. Hello! Make room! And a chair comes whizzing across from the far wall and sandwiches itself in between the rhino and the Mad Hatter. I'll, I'll go... No, oh, this is so bad. I'll go sit. <laughs> um, I walk up and tell the Hatter, uh, FYI, we... We took shelter here because there's about 30 undead out the door trying to bust in. They will not breach our walls. We are safe within this area. Would you like to have a seat? Yes, please. Can I have some more? A chair scoots across next to uh, the two beavers. You'll have to sit in between them. <laughs> okay, I will. No care somewhere. They are chewing corn cobs. Ding, ding. Randall, you peer into this unusual <laughs> site, spy the stairwell to the left. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to go up the stairwell. Do you not wish to join us? Uh, no, I'm okay. I'm not hungry. Enjoy the tour. Uh, Luna, Russell, two glasses magically appear. The wine bottles seamlessly probably mage hand pour and fill your goblets would you like to drink yes Luna? i wait for him to drink sure. i'm gonna watch him he drinks give me a constitution check to see if, how you like the taste i i need to know if there's poison because i have special bonuses against poison well it's not poison oh okay cool cons check uh, that is a 16. It's delicious wine. It's great wine. I'm going to get hammered. If, uh, if nothing seems to happen to him, but he get, he getting drunk, I will definitely sip some. He's, he's guzzling it down. It's, um, it's not bad. What was it? What's the Czech constitution check? Check. So that's a 13. That's not bad at all. It tastes delicious. Uh, Randall, uh, up top, it gets pretty dark pretty fast. The, the Mad Hatter says, do you need a candle? Uh, you know what? On second thought, I'll come and join. Okay. The only spot next is in between the ostrich and the tiger. Uh, 
I go grab my seat. Uh, wine glass fills. Would it's you like to drink? Very yes. good. Con save or check, sir? Con check. I rolled a four. Oh. You do not like it at all. Mmm. He's got Yum. no taste in art either. That's true. <laughs> uh, the merriment begins with the Mad Hatter telling a jovial account of a small leprechaun being parted from his golden kettle of coins. Uh, everybody make a con save. Oh, here we go. Seven. Roll the one, but it's a four. 22. Nice. I'm dead. Thank you. You are not dead. You are a gator. <laughs> oh. uh, Russell, hey, hook's hand. You are a duck. I'm a duck. I eat Russell. Wait, yeah. is this polymorph or something? No. <laughs> you are you're, well now. See, you're on the opposite side of him. I can jump the table. Yeah, you can jump the table if you want. Luna, your two associates have been turned into animals. Uh, what, what did you just do? Are we still capable of human speech? Yes. Quack, quack. quack. You can still speak. So oh. now you have to figure out whether you guys have actually been turned into these animals or Luna thinks you've been turned into these animals. Well, if we look down at our hands, would we not? What would we see? I thought you were going to attack Russell. No, no. Uh, you appear to be a gator. Russell appears to be a duck. I do not have anything to help. Which is... Okay. Uh, the Mad Hatter laughs hysterically. Your friends are enjoying our little tea party. Why are they, why do they look like that now? And I begin to wonder about the rest of the ones around the table. There is a dinging of a bell and you look over to one side and there on a mantle that you had not noticed previously is a silver bell with two angels carrying war hammers and it begins to ding. One by one, everybody begins to disappear, but not Randall and not Russell. Okay. But they are still a gator and they are still a duck. I don't have any way to put it. I don't have any way to put it back. The food and wine also disappear. Oh, God. Guys, a I'm ghostly figure appears in the doorway. He is dressed in finery, carrying a large wooden platter. He sets the platter down where the Bad Hatter was and begins to Pick move everything. stuff that isn't <laughs> there anymore. Uh, he then picks up the platter and walks out. Quack! Um... Uh, ideas? I have no way to help you guys. I almost took Randall up. turns into the human sorcerer. Russell turns into the halfling fighter. Woo! Temporary. <sighs> Thank goodness. The silver bell is still on the mantle. I go and smash it. If I can reach. Uh, it's on a mantle, so you're going to have to jump. Go ahead and hit it. All right, I'll smash it with my sword. Uh, that is a 12 to hit. That hits. Cool. 11 damage. Oh, yeah, you shatter that shit. <laughs> Woo! Don't fuck with me anymore, Bell. So it's just us and the Mad Hatter in the room? Or Mad Hatter's gone? gone as well. Okay. Well, nah, I don't know what to do. I'm just perplexed. I'm glad you guys are back to normal. So was there a guy with the platter or was that? That was a ghostly visage of somebody with a platter. Yeah, it was real. Oh, oh, great. This place is just creepy and weird. Let's keep on going up the stairs. Yeah, we get, we get more to check out. 
You get up to the top of the stairs with the illumination, and you notice it is just a long hallway with a rug on it, similar to downstairs. At the very end, there are two small female twins. Along the walls, you notice more pictures. There's a Mad Hatter. There's a rhino, an ostrich, a pair of beavers. Beyond the two girls, there's a set of stairs going up. God. I firebolt the girls. <laughs> Good <laughs> idea. We watch this. Uh, one. That is a 14 to hit. Uh, it goes right through them. Outside, uh, another clap of thunder followed by a. Can I? I'm going to use a second Eyes of the Grave on them. Sure. Are they there? Are they undead or not? Not undead. Okay, so, you know, Russell, that maybe you may have been right. Maybe someone is screwing with us. They're not there. They're not undead. I don't like this place. Let's, uh, let's continue going up, I guess. Or let's go down the hallway. As you walk down the hallway, you see the pictures of everybody at the tea party. And then you see three small mirrors. Oh, this is not good. This is creepy. Because uh, there's no oh, paintings of us yet. Yeah. Well, you see you as a gator. I smash the mirrors. <laughs> well, wait, wait, before he does that, can I get there and see how I look? You look the same. Modified 20 to hit. <laughs> You shatter it. Uh, shattering a mirror means I will go ahead and eliminate your luck of the halfling for the remainder of the adventure. <laughs> you don't Why? fracture mirrors because that's seven years bad luck. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate, but it's better than being a duck. <laughs> well, Randall's still Randall, unless he looks into the mirror again. I smash his mirror too. Fair enough. Uh, at the end, the girls are holding small baskets. I uh, I use Mei Chang to steal one of said baskets. Are they real? No. All right, let's just keep walking. Okay, go ahead, Randall. Uh, as you walk through the girls... You can't get through. It's almost like there's an invisible wall right there. And the girls say, trick or treat, at the very same time. They're like the double mint twins. Mm, uh, I, I, I pull out some rations and put them in the back. Or, or whatever, I have food or whatever. I mean, it's a one shot and we didn't really plan. So Sure. You take your rations, you yeah. throw it at the baskets. Yeah, I put it in the basket. It's that invisible wall. Oh, interesting. Well, how are we supposed to fulfill the trick or treat if we can't give you the treats? Trick or treat. Hmm. So we can't put anything in the basket because it's behind the barrier. The food didn't work. Uh, maybe it's got to be something else. Mm, I'm going to pull out a gold piece. Okay. And I'll see if that, uh, before I release it, I'm going to see if that goes through the wall. It does. Then I'll put it in the basket. One of the twins disappears. The other one says, trick or treat, I'm sad. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'll pull out another gold piece and I'll give it to her. I'm really sad. Uh... <laughs> oh, God. So you gave the treat to the one. Now the other one needs a trick. That could be. I'm not. I'm Randall, not give a performance. I use like I can use control flames and do like. You know, like press- a juggling flame trick. Yeah, like I don't know, some sort of trick of fire. Oh. Performance check. Performance. Now's the time to roll a one, Randall. 22. Uh, 
the the second twin goes yay and disappears yes uh, all right can i go through the barrier yeah. area now oh it, nice it appears so all right let's go up these stairs Uh, you get up to the stairs. They are winding stairs that go up to the next floor. Uh, there is a solitary door at the top. It I'm says, trying. "Oh, what does it say?" Uh, it says, "Arlo." Arlo. The, uh, yep. Okay, I do not care. I try and push it open. Whether push or pull, do not care. I try and push it open. Doesn't push open. I try and push harder. That's why doesn't it say Midvale School of the Gifted on there? Yep. Uh, still not making any headway. <laughs> I try and smash through it. <laughs> I hack what? at it with my sword. Go ahead. Why did you just pull, man? I'm not that smart. I rolled a 25 to hit. Oh, yeah. Crash seven damage. <laughs> I'm legitimately asking, why did you just pull the door? I have a negative two to wisdom. A large, wow. a large gap appears in the door, and Russell sticks his head through and goes, "Here's Russell." Russell, <laughs> pull open the door. Pull towards you. Oh, thank you, thank you for the instruction. After I hack open the door, That's inside there is a large circular bed, <laughs> sitting below a glass chandelier. Against the far wall is a stained glass window in the shape of a bald man doing this. Oh, like the bus downstairs. Correct. Cool. Well, now I open the door so everyone can get through. You open the door. Uh, the draft causes a set of curtains to kind of waft open that were parallel or next to on either side of the stained glass. And a figure steps out. Illuminated by the moon, since the storm has now passed, is the figure of a large dog. Ooh, roll initiative. I have an idea. I blow the whistle <laughs> oh. after I get to my turn because I rolled a seven. Fourteen. Oh, uh, that'd be a ten. Uh, Fourteen. You're up first. Uh, mm -hmm. This werewolf individual is dressed in tattered human clothing and has already barked to the full moon beyond it. What you doing, Russ Randall? So the, the werewolves in front of us now? Yep. Firebolt. That is a modified 20 to hit. AC-12 for the werewolf. Uh, that'll be seven fire damage. Okay. Uh, next up is the 10. <coughs> that would be what, me? Um, yep. Why not? I'm going to try Guiding Bolt. Sure. This is an attack roll. Yeah, it's an attack roll. Come on. God, that bounced like three different numbers. That would be a 16. That hits. Okay, so I'm going to do it's four. Wow, it's 4d6. So I will use Murder Hobo dice. This is the best dice to use. And of course, I believe the next person who tries to take a swing at it will get so at advantage. Nice. That is not a great roll, but okay, so 4, 6, 12 is 12. Yep, 12 points of damage. That's that's not nothing. Nope. Uh, I I am going to go after any bets on if this is going to be lunar or not. Well, I just did light it up, so it would. Make sense. I'm the one that's been blowing the whistle. <laughs> Deuce! It goes after Randall. It launches itself. <laughs> Nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I shall avenge you, Randall. Do not worry. Not. Uh, it's not gonna kill me. Eight. Yeah, I'm alive. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Eight plus two. Ooh, I'm ten. Uh, and now you need to make a con save. And a con save. That'll be a sixteen. 
Uh, Randall screams in pain. Russell, All right. it's up to you. I uh, swing at it, and I get advantage, right? Yes. Are you, are you not going to blow the uh, whistle? Can I use, do that as a bonus action? All right, well, I blow the whistle sure. first then before I attack. A okay. response from the werewolf. It howls Ooh, in, in pain. pain. Whistle more. <laughs> uh, yeah, after <laughs> I'm going to still try and attack it. And that is a 16 to hit. That oh, hits. And uh, 11 damage. Uh, round two. Cool. And I I stay <coughs> close to it because I wanted to attack me since uh, I, I really want to be a werewolf halfling. That'd be pretty badass. <laughs> Randall, you're up. Um, <laughs> you got some teeth marks I on you. I will go with fi uh, Firebolt again. That'll be a big miss with the seven. Uh, Luna. Hmm, I wonder if this would work. Uh, I assume that it's making attacks. They're like strength. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's mighty. That's considered so. strength. So I'm gonna cast ray of. Let's see. What actually? What did I cast already? All right. No. Actually, I did get him. Uh, I'll try ray of enfeeblement, which is an attack roll. Oh, that was well to 13. Oh, it's good. Is. Okay, so what this does a black vein of enervating energy springs forth from my finger towards the werewolf. Uh, on a hit, the target deals only half damage with weapon attacks to use strength until the spell ends. And it's a concentration for one minute, up to a minute. So basically, cool beans. Uh, the werewolf doesn't like that at all, Luna. <laughs> and it's a concentration, so I'm the smart choice to go after. Am I at disadvantage, though? No, you're not. It's just that it's half damage on all oh, okay. uh, 16 plus 4 is a dirty 20. Uh, that's going to hit. But at least it's only going to half Half damage is three hit points, and you need to make a con save. We're going to have the all werewolf party next time. Not me. Oh, I don't think I. What was it? Uh, what's the con? Yes. Oh, I don't think I made that. That's going to. That's only a 10. Okay. Uh, Russell! <laughs> um. Great. He's swinging his sword. He's got the whistle in his mouth. Yeah. Bonus <laughs> action whistle. <laughs> and then attack with my sword. That is an 18 to hit this time. Okay. For seven damage. Top of the order. Randall. Uh, I will do a level two burning hands. Uh, that'll be a dex save. Uh, Twelve. Uh, that is failed. The bed, the circular bed, erupts in flame, as does the werewolf. Uh, well, 20 damage to the werewolf. How much? 20. Eight. Ouch. 20 to zero. Two zero. Four D6. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Uh, Luna, you're up. Uh, I think I'm going to cast another guiding bolt. That oh. is on fire, by the way. <laughs> that seems appropriate for a Halloween game for some reason. Oh, that's a 17 on the die, so my Guiding Bolt is a 22, and that's going to hit. So damage on that, and oh, I see a Murder Hobo Inc. Yeah, so that's 11 plus 6 is 17 points of damage, and if it's still up, uh, the next person gets advantage on the attack roll. It is still up. It's still up. Good. Uh, hit me. Hit me. 
It's hitting you. Yes. <coughs> Wait, a nat what? 20? I can't. A nat 20. A nat Woo! 20. Can we just what? assume I fail my con check? No, you got you to gotta roll for your con. All right. So we can All right. <laughs> well, I rolled a four plus three, so I got a seven on my con save. You take six hit points of damage, and you are up. That was halved, right? Because I, yes. I'm actually, I'm sure that was halved. Eight, eight plus four. Okay. Um, no, I, mean, I get points. hit. So. Russell! All right. I assume that a seven doesn't pass that, that save, so... Uh, I really want to be a lycanthropic Kathleen that hates tall people. <laughs> this is going to be the best thing. Yeah. You're a puppy lycanthropic. Like <laughs> you get it by Randall again because I'm not sure if he missed the save, but I'm All right. sure. You're scrappy. No, I got it. <laughs> I, I rolled uh, 18 plus 6, 24 to hit. That hits. And 8 damage with my sword. As the blade cuts through the werewolf's flesh, uh, the body falls and slowly morphs into that of a bald human being, similar to the bust downstairs and the stained glass window there. He looks up at one Randall. Avenge me. <laughs> and despite and uh, expires right there. Uh, the bed is still on fire. <laughs> Quick, toss the body in the flames, just in case. Uh, I will use control flames and extinguish them. Oh, very nice. Nicely done. Uh, there before you is uh, the body of uh, the last member of the Arlo family. Uh, expired here. Uh, you hear a crack, and the stained glass window develops just a hairline fracture through it. We now have a tower we can claim as our own. <clears throat> I am uh, the new master of this werewolf tower. Underneath, in the hole in the bed where it was on fire, there is a brass-bound chest. I'm kind of sad because I was going to go jump on that bed, too. You uh, still can. <coughs> it's, Say yeah. hi to the twins when you go through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you. We'll, we'll grab take the yeah, we'll take the chest out and look. Or at least I will. Yeah, let's look at this chest. Who's can grabbing the chest? Open. Can we mage hand it open? Uh, who's grabbing it first? I mean, uh, I'll help Luna grab it. All right. All right, we both will. You guys each take two hit points because the damn thing was just on fire a minute ago. <laughs> oh, it's a little hot, isn't it? A little hot. But you managed to ha, 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 get it out. Uh, did you want to mage hand it open? Did I hear you say? I'm asking uh, if Randall will mage hand it open, yes. Uh, I can inspect it using mage hand, try to get it to open. It appears to be locked. It is locked. Oh, is there a key on the body? There is a key on the body. Now I try and unlock it. It opens. It is still locked. No. <laughs> what is inside? There is a silver helmet. Mine. Uh, a silver dagger. <laughs> and 500 silver pieces. What happens if I try and touch one? Oh, do you want to touch silver? <laughs> I, I'll try. I'll, I'll do a. I'll do a light poke of the Got silver. face feet. into it. <laughs> it shouldn't. shouldn't I grab the helmet and stick it on his head. There you go. <laughs> Smoke <laughs> starts to. <laughs> <laughs> I have to actually go through it, change. You know, once for it to really be permanent. Uh, did, get to that. did you forget the full moon outside? If it, but it, <laughs> you know it's stormy out right now. This is just a one shot, folks. There you have it. Our heroes have survived ish, ish. Uh, clearly, Luna and Russell failed their lycanthrope like, saves. They're going to start to develop hair down there. Carol, what would you think of the Halloween one? Firebolt everything. <laughs> yeah, we have 10 more minutes and we're done. Yeah, I wish we had, they had 10 minutes. But no, that was great. Uh, although I 
I would like to think that maybe we could get that that rectified at some point. Rectified, um, damn near killedified him. You know, that's not so. Let's see, let's see. So I have, well, let's say I have a character statue, and now I've got one that's a werewolf. So we're gonna slowly <sighs> all my characters. Uh, bah, 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 bah. You two are halflings. You guys are scrappy do puppy like anthropes. Yeah, but we're still. You're like, were puppies. You're still. You still. It's, the point is, I'm still a were beast. So at that point is that now I've got two characters that are fucked up. And I'm going for this fight next day because you're probably going to kill friggin' Taryn in two weeks. It's not you're fucked welcome. up. Being a werewolf's badass. Or, else, or worse. Are you going to do something worse to her? Mm. Ernest, final thoughts. By the way, when Randall put the helmet on, you now have one of those monk haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> He'll grow back. It's all right. Bull, bull cut. <laughs> um. No, I thought that was awesome. I'm I'm glad that I finally got a bite from the werewolf. Um, I was hoping to get the ever since the first attack. I was hoping uh, to kill one of you. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that was uh You that came was, close uh, with me. I had eight health points left. That was a really oh, creepy said uh, tower. Oh good. Uh Chris, what'd you think? Oh, it was good. A little different. Uh, you know. than, than than the usual campaign, right? So it, yeah, it was yeah, there were no shenanigans in this one. Well, not <laughs> as many. To eat dinner with an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. So yeah, I just. Was I got a question? Now you picked you picked all those animals. Was that some reference, or did you really just randomly pick all those animals? Everything I did tonight was random. <laughs> <laughs> I was pulling shit out of my ass, uh, but you know what? We had a good time. Uh, sadly, we couldn't bring you the campaign. We'll uh -huh. have to kill Lude, or I'm sorry, kill Carol later. <laughs> Darren, you're not going to kill me. I'll kill or Manise, probably. <laughs> well, probably. You got less hit points than Manise, so probably. It's... Well, we yeah. know Dewey has full hit points. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the campaign one shot ish. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy cool crap like this, or just shoot the shit with us uh, in uh, Discord. The links are down there. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on the talk show on Tuesday or a one shot, M Hobo Inc., Twitter gmail hit us up don't forget how to rpg with your cat a week from tomorrow it's free all you got to do is sign up and pirate dog dice says taryn is fucking dead because i am only using this one that, wait, wait 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 but this is boring i mean you have you've been posting torture pictures i uh, you know all for the last two weeks now i'll but do uh sunny and share and peace posters <laughs> <laughs> Folks, Great. for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, happy Halloween. We'll see you later.